Alright guys, so today I'm going to be spending the next 100 days as a Minotaur in Shindle Life. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, to become a Minotaur Namakaze, we're going to have to complete three different steps. Step number one, we have to look like Minotaur. Step number two, we have to get his bloodline, which is a Minakaze, and also get his elements. And the final step, we have to fight Obito in a 1v1 to see if we can defeat him. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, you can see here we are in the Shindle Life main menu, and if we hop over real quick, quick to the edit menu you can see that i do not look like metal whatsoever first step is to look like metal so i'm going to be getting his uh outfit ids and his face ids real quick so let me get those real quick all right guys so this is the metal outfit i went with i know it's a little bit wacky but do not worry it's just the beginning because i can't really access his cloak yet it's at level a thousand so when we get to level a thousand we can put his cloak on and stuff like that and get his like hat and his actual drip but for now we're going to be rocking with this best thing we can do for now i guess we can sort this out even better later on but now we have to get his bloodline which is going to be pretty easy Easy. instead of spinning i'm just gonna go to the real to the rc shop and get his bloodline from here so let's unlock this bad boy right there without this oh my god you guys saved me a lot of time thanks to everyone who told me about this i actually did not know this was a thing but it saved me a lot of uh trouble to actually spin for bloodline so we're going to be going for the minakaze right there elements i can't really he uses the single like mostly so i think i'm gonna go for wind it's just wind actually you know what? Let me, i'm pretty sure he can use every single element because uh chipper didn't everyone can use <laughs> every single element style so let me quickly say up what he actually like we've seen him use okay so yeah he has affinity with everything but wind like rasengan wise i know rasengan is not a wind but in this game i'm pretty sure you can get rasengan and wind i'm not too sure so i'm just gonna go for wind anyways because i know rasengan is not really wind it's more uh, just like just a chakra ball so like a ball or orb of chakra but we're going for wind nevertheless all right there we go i think we're ready so let's jump straight in because we're gonna have to get a lot of work done it's it's not two times weekend yet so unfortunately we can't really get that boost so yeah let's jump straight into ember village and start doing some quests we need to level up pretty fast so yeah because i think we're gonna do a couple of things when we get to level a thousand i want to want to go around just pvping some random people and uh also killing orbital so that's gonna be interesting all right here we are so we just spawned in for the first time brand new account let's press m we literally have absolutely nothing so we oh, this one's gonna be expensive to quite it actually get so we also need to get the kunai where's the kunai the teleportation kunai which is this one right here it's a boss drop shouldn't be too hard we can get that at the end of the video too but what can, okay so you know what? we'll start off with with uh, the blue star missions those are like the best ones to start off with i guess i just realized how wacky this uh <laughs> these clothing are so we need to change that up but unfortunately we can't do anything at the moment so yeah troublemakers have been uh, looking graffiti all over the city that shouldn't be too bad i guess where's the closest one it's over there there we go we got to the first one okay let's, let's get rid of this okay we actually have to go on the other side all right there we go took the first one out where's the second one please be in the same spot okay, it's not in the same spot it's pretty close by so that's not too bad i guess all right here we are second one and and we've done it so we get a pretty decent amount of levels just from the start straight away all right let's go find another quest we want to get to level 100 before we actually do anything so i want to do these quests get to level 100 or level 70 ish then uh i'll do one green score then i might actually go on the log so you can get a boost of strength because we literally have uh, nothing when do we unlock the mod actually level 400 right okay that's gonna be a bit of trouble to get all right some okay some weeds to the grass okay that shouldn't be too bad all right here we are Okay, that's the first one all right these are normally all next to each other so that's not too bad of a quest oh they're all here in the same spot wow are we getting lucky never mind all right the final one there we go another 70k xp okay the next good star is right there so let's go grab that star let's pick this bad boy oh there we go what's it going to be i'll pick him some more weeds up actually i don't mind this quest whatsoever let's jump on a tree so we can actually get some distance there we go okay, these are a bit spaced out so i'm gonna make it longer of course but we should be good okay another blue star right here there we go complete that quest let's straight get to the next quest okay find your cat shouldn't be a problem whatsoever there we go found his cat for him okay we actually start to rack up the levels i think i'll do one more because uh actually you know what that's it for now so let's actually uh sort these stats out shall we there we go okay that should be a decent amount of stats for now let's quickly uh go check on some green scores we'll do one green score and then after that we'll go on the logs try get just get, get, get beefed up on the logs we'll do a bit of a training art what what age we are right now okay we're age 30 and i think we just graduated from the academy so we need to actually get a little bit stronger because by now meta was an absolute genius breaking records and, and stuff i'm pretty sure maybe he was 12 i don't know you guys didn't know in the comments uh what meta was doing at this age i'm pretty sure he was uh risen up kushina at this point unfortunately we can't find the kushina in chido life so we can't follow the original storyline at least but you know what we can we can kill some bandits like i thought just uh haijutsu isn't good enough oh my we're getting rocked come here give me that up tilt yeah we ain't strong enough to uh kill these guys we're still very weak like look at us we're already damaged and bruised up give me that m1 combo there we go we need to play a little bit tactical here and a little bit scummy okay there we go that's the first guy down just one more wait for my stamina to go 
go up a little bit. Okay, we can't let him use these Taijutsu moves. I meant these Ninjutsu moves. And he, okay, he's about to die. And I messed up my, my rush. Right, he should be dead soon, though. Can't let him hit me. Come on, how am I missing these up tilts? No. Okay, let's check out the quest. So, leveled up once, we already get that. Okay, there's the this. I'm pretty sure there's a punch one. We can get that with the logs. Uh, hit the logs too. We can get that. Uh, and rush should, should be able to get that later on. But should be able to make a decent amount of money from this. And there we go. Okay, 125k XP. That's pretty decent. Uh, what level? Okay, 51. That's actually quite good. But the best thing to do is uh, to get a more dope as fast as possible is hop on the logs. So, yeah, let's go jump on the logs for a bit. Where are the logs? Okay, this this is a decent one. Actually, no, it's not. There's someone there. We need to find a log that no one's around. We'll just go to the main logs where everyone's there, but no one's there at the moment. So, we should be good. Uh, here we are. So, I'm going to start hitting the logs now. So, there's going to be a little bit of like a not a time skip. I say a time lapse for like a fast forward. So, yeah, let's start hitting these logs. Auto click on. Uh, there we go. So, we started. And yeah, I'm going to come back, guys, as soon as I get close as possible to 400 to uh, my bloodline. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back after my training session on the logs and yeah, I'm a bit hungry so I'm getting some food here but thank god I managed to actually get to level 400 here so I can actually equip my bloodline, there we go and also we do have a couple of elements we can buy so let's buy like the, the most we can buy okay, we can't buy that much actually, let's split up our stats evenly here actually you know what, let's put more into uh, cheese so we can actually unlock more stuff here there we go, there we go, we can unlock all these moves, perfect and uh, we can actually transform for the first time so I had my food, I'm good, why is the Kuruma here? I'm not really that strong to beat him yet so yeah let's mod up here for the first time okay there we go we also have to get form 2 for this mod so form 2 uh you need this minikaze second boss drop but we'll get that after i get level 1000 so for now let's do a couple of green scrolls i think i'm gonna do like 5 to like 10 green scrolls uh what well, i'm gonna stop doing green scrolls when i get to level like 350 400 ish so let's start doing these green scrolls all right here's the first one all right let's use the the tree method all right there we go all right c spec the c spec is actually so op it just freezes everyone all right q okay this is okay they have to hit me hit me okay they haven't hit me all right, E. All right, let's use our moves. There we go. Easy work. It's actually so easy. Holy. All right, let's go back to uh, the village. Uh, I see a green scroll. There we go. Give me this. There we go. Let's jump up here and uh, go over there. Oh, why is it always so far? Let's go. Easy work. The C spec. Such an easy green scroll. That's actually so easy. It's going to be so easy to level up with this mode. And we get some insane XP right now. All right, there we go. Here we are. Under the green scroll. All right, let's quickly use the C spec in the sky. Will this reach? Oh, there we go. The range is crazy. Holy. The range for this is crazy and the wind is actually so op i didn't realize wind was this broken all right my md is winning guys so let me quickly demode all right there we go let's quickly uh put my stats in let me sort out all my stats but yeah as i was saying i don't really want to show too much of the grinding because uh we've got so much stuff to do first of all we have to fight orbital uh second of all we have to get well first we actually have to get the second form uh then i want to go do some pvping like i don't know just Maybe kill one or two people randomly, like catch him off guard, so you can actually have a chance at, at being at F0 rank. And yeah, so do that. And I also want to fight Obito, of course, in a one on one to see if we can defeat him like we did in that anime. So yeah, I think that's the only person to be honest that Minato actually fights. I can't remember who else, like a big character he fights. He does help in the fight with Madara and like a lot of the great ninja war, but most of it was against Obito, even like Sinter Tricks Paths Obito so, or Ten Tails Dinshiriki Obito. I mean, I can't really remember any other fights that Minato was a part of that were like really impactful. So that's why I decided to go for Obito. I know about him like clearing the whole of the Great Ninja War, the third one all by himself and killing a thousand shinobi but where am I gonna get a thousand shinobi from at one time let's be honest. We probably actually could get, nah not a thousand but we can get like a hundred uh, in the dungeons but there's no point so yeah that's why I went for Obito. But yeah let's keep going on with these uh, green skulls and stop all the rambling because we don't really have time for all the rambling we've got a lot of work today. Right, there we go I love the C spec so much it's actually so busted. Yeah, even wind the wind just carries too. There we go and let's use our Q spec we haven't used it yet. Okay we don't have enough chi come on oh okay bro when i activate my c spec watch him not even touch me oh it's not even in us yeah it's on cooldown and i'm killing him by the time it comes off cooldown i should be back in the village if i get on this tree correctly not really i can't get there in five seconds all right let's keep going with the green scores here we got a couple more to do i think like three more now i could have done a bit more uh trading on the logs here whilst my md was coming back but yeah let's quickly get some more green scores all right here's another one there we go up on this tree now why is this one hell of far this one's actually too far what the hell no let's just follow the trees around i guess max mobility okay this one's gonna be a big jump there we go can we reach that let's see i think we can easy work all right there we go all right come on rasengan there 
there we go let's just keep hitting it and the dead wow okay that was <laughs> that was extremely quick okay there we go some more green skulls okay this one ain't too far why am i stuck in the house bro come on okay this one should literally be one tree jump straight to a single hop in with some style use this move i haven't used it yet and use this new move there we go yeah i think one more green skull should do it right yeah one more should do it okay i haven't used my q spec whatsoever so i need to use my q spec here and i realized i forgot about all the other moves but to be honest we don't even have enough money to actually get those moves so i had to do a couple of boss rotations uh hopefully we get some hopefully we get some good like amount of money from it all right let's go down all right let's just jump in with the c spec first okay why is my i think i pressed my q spec by accident so we need to wait here for a sec 10 seconds and my q spec is pretty clean i gotta say all right there we go q spec come on hit me please all right there we go so yeah if they hit you it's like a counter uh you just destroy them like that but there we go 355 so yeah guys okay, i've completed everything that i do need or i can do right now so i'm gonna go get some friends on go to a private server do a quick boss rotations and hopefully i'll be back in less than an hour or so maybe an hour and a half because i need to get a bit of money then after that we'll go farm minakaze boss then kill obito and maybe fight some people like some random people so yeah guys i'm gonna be right back all right guys and i'm back after a couple hours i see like an hour and a half later and i managed to get everything but first of all we cannot look like this so much longer we're gonna have to change it up so first of all let me switch up uh, my style a little bit first of all i think it's 200 and something okay let me just go backwards i think it's a lot better so let me find uh the cloak real quick well actually you know what i'll look like meto and i'll be right back so okay, this is the transformation so first of all I look like this without this cloak and yeah let's see what i look like in about one second there we go tell me i don't look clean i look so clean right now i know this but it actually makes it look even nicer but i'm looking so clean so yeah i managed to complete everything but now there is one more thing for me to do is actually uh go to the naromaki bridge i'm pretty sure that's what it's called so yeah let's head over there there we go and yeah let me quickly get a private server called for it right guys so here we are naromaki bridges you can see we are looking so much better so much cleaner so much drip as you can see i managed to unlock everything here as you can see maxed out my stats i'm 18 years old i'm pretty sure Mitten died at 19 i'm not too sure he became hokage 18 19 so i'm not too sure i can't remember exactly the exact uh, time stamps or age so yeah let's teleport over there okay that's the wrong move okay this is actually not even like the best teleportation it's not really uh that great because it has i wish it doesn't have like a she would be way too op if it doesn't have like a distance cap okay i ran out of them so that's not good but yeah we're going to be fighting ourselves here for quite a while trying to get form two of my stage uh or my form that i'm using right now so we could be in trouble here but hopefully we can actually defeat him quite quickly oh we probably can this mode's pretty op uh we should think yeah okay we have to wait 40 seconds so i'm gonna wait 40 seconds real quick all right here we are so let's mold up real quick uh, there we go into our first form fortunately a cloak for some followers but it's all good let's start fighting this guy let's throw our kunai's okay why is the kunai thing so weird now i haven't used the star maybe i'm tripping but yeah so we're going to be comboing the heck out of this guy he uses the same move as us so we can actually predict what he's gonna be doing. okay never mind he knows how to use the move a little bit better than us there we go let's use our c-spec freeze time okay i'm so confused why doesn't time freeze okay let's run away from that okay we're good teleport to that guy over here easy work no i couldn't use my last single barrage right q hit me don't run away don't run away please there we go hit me perfect okay now we're getting uh, a little bit rocked here and we've done basically practically no damage to this guy so these are gonna be a little bit of a hard couple of matches here okay we should be good now all right let's jump back he's uh sleeping all right and we get this out all right come here buddy oh he froze me i don't get how my moves don't freeze him but his his moves freeze me like they should allow knockback on bosses but i mean the, you can literally basically infinite combo a boss then so boss fights won't even be that hard i keep it chain my q spec which is actually a pretty powerful move it's like a perfect counter and why did it not work that i literally had it up and i'm starting to get folded all right he's sleeping chain this with this chain all these moves and now we're gonna chain our runaway through the way all right perfect all right, there we go we should be very weak now okay i think one more combo should do it or one when he if he rests he dies there we go he's dead please drop it first time oh he's not dead yet what uh they should kill him w where is he uh, they should kill him please drop first time come on wait what has he not done please 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 home to you please no way is this it no it wasn't it it wasn't it it's a uh, sub ability and where's it going to be it's going to be somewhere here i guess it's right here okay magma spirit bomb three million yeah i doubt we're going to be getting it but yeah guys i'm gonna stay here uh quickly level up try uh, well not level up just keep farming this boss and yeah guys maybe right back as soon as the thing drops all right guys so i'm back after a couple of hours as you can tell from the time it's been like two three hours i cut the recording because it was taking way too long and yeah it's so long to get but i finally got it so now we're going to be jumping into a private server in blaze and we're going to be taking on obito or slash the shiva akuma boss because that, that's like the nearest boss to obito i guess i'm pretty sure it is so yeah let's jump straight in let me showcase uh the new mode and stuff like that just to show you guys how amazing it is but yeah let's jump straight in all right guys and we're here as you can see i managed to get enough money to actually buy uh this move for minotaur so that's a bonus i uh, got all my stats in now i had a thousand stats uh and i put them in i'm, I'm age 23 i'm pretty sure minotaur 
dies around this time so yeah we're going to be fighting orbital real quick so let's mode up here for the first time with you guys well i've moded up and i've seen this but yeah this is it this mode is actually so busted and it looks super clean so yeah we're going to be hopping straight to it let's go find the shiva akuma boss i'm pretty sure he's gonna be around here somewhere uh i forgot how to actually move around with this mode i'm pretty sure there used to be a way or like something you can do oh yeah there we go the c spec is the movement move so yeah let's get on the tree and i'm pretty sure shiva akuma boss is going to be right here somewhere so yeah that's gonna be good and i'm pretty sure it's like based off i don't even know what it's based off but forged akuma yeah so 56 seconds we have to wait that long shouldn't be too bad we can wait that time no problem whatsoever at that time we could showcase the move here which is this one it's so op i actually like it so much it does 35k damage uh, and it also does like an extra bit of damage to like an explosion later on so it's a pretty nice combo move to add on with my fire beam move so i'm looking really good this move has a couple of moves well this uh, mode first of all, has a q spec which is like the c spec of uh verse mode and it has an e spec which is like you throw people at the like the person and it does a hell of damage and finally the c spec which is like a combo move which is pretty nice i gotta say a very nice move but unfortunately uh this mode is most suited for pvp so yeah it's gonna be quite difficult to take this orbital on but let's mode down real quick get our md back up and we can start the fight the server is a little bit laggy quickly check the ping on here okay we're not getting but that bad ping actually never mind i'm just tripping all right here we are so let's start this fight here let's mode up first of all we need to get into our second form there we go accepted it and we need to get the shiva akuma away from us so away from the the main opponent we need to get him all the way here if that's possible what the hell's happening no uh, we need to get him up here can i please get unstuck all right there we go so perfect here we can start dishing out the damage that we need we can with our wind the wind is extremely helpful in this situation like this is why it's so helpful we do hella damage i can use my e-spec to send my clones after him and we just repeat wins and repeat i can also use this move if i wanted to there we go pretty powerful move but yeah now we can go back on the wind barrage with all my wind moves there we go there we go there we go okay that missed we can we can hit a nice little q spec who did a little bit more damage but unfortunately that's kind of cost us our strategical position i guess and i'm teleported away there we go right now we can just finish this guy off no trouble there we go you know what we'll even pick this up even though we won't need it let's get back to max there we go and now we can run back and try combo the heck out of this boss because this boss is going to be tricky okay we came in exactly at the right time there we go there we go there we then a, a bit of damage just a little just a little bit oh, oh if only the c spec and like the barrage move work because if they work on bosses this this would be so OP. i literally just chain combo the heck out of bosses there we go just m1 for now q spec the e spec and my clones after him okay i can't do anything anymore okay i need to escape to get my chi up let's get on the tree get on the bigger tree and to get my chi and i put to this noob there we go there are singles out yeah we are rocking this guy we can chain combo this move too our c spec too oh holy now the q spec into the e spec and he's stuck now we can start using some of our wind abilities i'm gonna be honest here yeah, this isn't really the best way or like i'm not saying this like one of the best ways to kill bosses but it's actually quite fun i gotta say okay stay away from me throw my clones out i meant my kunai's out and now we escape on this tree onto an even bigger tree i feel like superman when i'm like jumping around now let's get my singles out now we combo this noob i don't even know why i'm calling him noob to be honest it's quite late it's 6 a.m in the morning right now and i haven't slept i've been doing this video and he teleported me that's unfortunate okay can i get my c spec off okay no i can't but you know what i can get this off okay there we go whilst he's getting pushed back we link this up and gg there we go and he dropped something with hopefully something good oh he stopped his companion okay that's fine but yeah guys that's going to be it we completed every single one of our objectives uh with flying colors of course and it was quite fun actually playing with minato and spending the past 100 days as minato but yeah guys thank you so much for everyone who watched till the end of this video and i hope you really did enjoy it i'm probably going to be doing itachi or shisui or probably code next so yeah make sure you stay tuned in if you like these type of videos and yeah guys i'm gonna catch you all next time peace out